Right now, Republican leaders in North Carolina Senate have passed their proposed budget with some Democratic support. But Governor Cooper has already expressed his disdain for the budget's current form, particularly because of the raises carved out for teachers. Fox 46 chief political correspondent Emma Withrow spoke with local teachers today who called their potential raises pitiful. Under this proposed budget, a Gaston County teacher who's worked in education for 26 years would be getting an extra $13 a month with a 1.5% pay raise, which is actually, she says, the highest pay raise teachers would get in the last 10 years. I'm not quite sure how $13 more a month is really going to help my budget. Pam Miller is a first grade teacher in Gaston County and also a member of the North Carolina Association of Educators. Miller says at least a 5% per year raise is necessary for teachers. We are educating the future of our state and we need to retain quality teachers and part of retaining quality teachers is treating them and paying them as the professionals that they are. But Republican leaders argue the raises they included in their budget are sufficient. What we are trying to make sure that we do is uh, provide reasonable pay increases uh, for our educators and for our other state employees while not uh, creating uh, a bus, uh, a, a baseline problem as far as the overall budget. But Democrats argue with a potential $6.5 billion surplus of funding, legislators need to be doing more to compensate teachers. We're still at the very bottom of the country when it comes to teacher pay. We're still at the bottom when it comes to per pupil spending. Another Gaston County teacher said she hopes at least some sort of budget will pass since North Carolina teachers haven't gotten a single raise in years. Frustrated, but, you know, we'll take anything instead of nothing. Um, but we do definitely want a lot more because we want valued teachers to continue to stay with our school system. This budget's now heading to the House for potential changes and approval. And with teacher pay raises at the forefront of this budget, there's bound to be plenty of conflict among legislators and Governor Cooper within the next few months. Emma Withrow, Fox 46.